The snow glows white on the mountain tonight, not a footprint to be seen. A kingdom of isolation, and it looks like I'm the queen. The wind is howling like this swirling storm inside. Couldn't keep it in, heaven knows I tried. Don't let them in, don't let them see. Be the good girl you always have to be. Conceal, don't feel, don't let them know. Our elementary department is a close-knit community of experienced IB teachers. We place an emphasis on the development of the whole child. Our teachers work closely with the students to support the development of their academic, social and emotional skills. Through working with the learner profiles and approach to learning, children will learn how to collaborate, communicate and understand each other's perspectives. This balanced education helps them grow into well-rounded individuals ready for whatever their future may bring. At Bells Elementary School, we take a holistic approach to wellness and well-being. We pride ourselves on creating healthy, happy children with good habits that they can carry over into adulthood. We recognize that it's essential to teach each child as a whole. We know that, in order for a student to learn best, a school's curriculum must acknowledge children's multiple intelligences. Because of this, we have a strong elementary school PE, drama, art and music program with an inspirational teachers who encourage each of our children to be the best they can. The PYP has evolved to become a world leader in future-focused education. 
The PYP is an example of best educational practice globally, responding to the challenges and opportunities facing young students in our rapidly changing world. BELS is an authorized PYP school. The PYP offers an inquiry-based transdisciplinary curriculum framework that builds conceptual understanding. It's a student-centered approach to education for children aged 3 to 12. It reflects the best of educational research. We encourage all of our English learners to speak clearly and to listen carefully to their teachers as we speak. We practice pronunciation and children are exposed to as many different accents as possible through the use of audio in the classroom. As they move through the grades, the children become more confident at giving descriptions and explanations, speculating and exploring ideas, and expressing their opinions. Vocabulary acquisition is essential from the very beginning of the school, so our teachers have different ways of introducing new vocabulary into the classroom and helping our children to learn it. The goal of the, each of these programs at elementary level is for students to experience and enjoy the subjects and gain some basic understanding of all the aspects of the subjects. We encourage a collaborative learning environment where ideas are shared and where every child is confident in sharing their opinion and we focus on the development of artistic behaviors such as problem solving and decision making. Hi and welcome to the elementary school. My name is Hillary and I am a full-time English teacher here. In the elementary, we have four classes, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, and fourth grade. We only have one class of each grade level, but we do have full-time teachers in the school. We have an English teacher, and a Turkish teacher in each of the elementary classes. In the, in the kindergarten to the third grade, we have lofts, like libraries upstairs, where we can sit with the children and have little group time, quiet time, or just give them time to read or hear a story. These are good places for our students to unwind. There is in the elementary, one thing that we do have is underfloor heating. So in the winter time when it gets really cold here, because it does, it gets very, very cold in Arizona, but it's great and the mountains are beautiful. Um, one thing we have inside of the elementary, each classroom down here, are heated floors and so if you're sitting some time on the floor you can feel the heat and it's really nice for the kids because it keeps them warm and it keeps the room warm as well. Once your student comes into the kindergarten we do expect a lot from them. We hope by the end of 12th grade when they graduate, hoping that they stay in the school for that long, we hope by that time they have achieved all the IB learner profiles and all the Bells learner profiles. Here at Bells, the elementary school is great. We have a very small family-like community. It's a great place for your kids to come and we hope to see you in the fall. Thank you so much. Bells is currently a candidate school for the IB Middle School Years program. Already a PYP and DP school, Bells understands the importance of the MYP as a transition to the high school program. By attending IB workshops, middle school teachers are learning about MYP criteria for their subject matters and how to incorporate key concepts, related concepts, and global context into their unit planners. Student-centered activities are essential in order for students to become lifelong learners. These activities help students develop disciplinary and interdisciplinary understanding. The MYP allows students to acquire the necessary skills, 
knowledge, and attitudes to be successful. Students are also well-versed in the IB and Bell's learner profiles and can identify these traits in their lessons. Hello, my name is Matthew Keeley and I've been teaching here at Bell's for three years. I teach fifth and sixth grade English. Now our fifth grade here is a year here is a preparatory year. The kids have 18 periods and we really try to give them a really good strong foundation in the language to launch them into the rest of the middle school. And I teach eight periods of sixth grade English. The classes here are small. I have 12 students in my fifth grade class and 16 in the sixth grade class. Um, the kids enter into the fifth grade at approximately the A2 level on the Common European Framework, which means they have about an uh, English vocabulary of 1,000 to 1,500 words. Um, the school has a family feel to it because it's so small and uh, we have relatively few discipline problems. Most of my students are on scholarship, so the families are very cooperative and the discipline is, is quite good. And the kids overall are very enthusiastic learners. Um, to gain entry into the Bill Kent High School, the students do have to pass a rigorous exam. So academic achievement is important and um, the teachers here are expected to help those kids meet those high levels. Um, I've been here three years, I've renewed my contract for a fourth, so I definitely can say that I've been happy here. Hello, I'm Nylan Kaplan, High School Vice Principal and the IGCC Program Coordinator. I've been at the school for uh, over eight years now. We've been offering the Cambridge International General Certificate of Secondary Education program since September 2008. So we would like to offer this program mainly because we would like to uh, equip our students with uh, the necessary skill, the 21st century skills that, are, that they need for their university life. And the program uh, is one of the most recognized qualifications in the world and it, it provides um, quite a strong foundation for our learners for the upcoming um, International Baccalaureate Diploma Program and later on their university um, studies. Um, IGCC courses are renowned for providing the vital skills that our students need such as um, recalling knowledge, um, problem solving, taking initiatives, teamwork, investigating a subject. So all these are um, quite essential for, for the young learners um, so that they can continue their um, academic work later on um, in life. The IGCSE is a two-year program. Students start their IGCSE courses in year nine and uh, at the end of year 10, in May and June, they sit exams, written exams. These exams are externally marked and we receive the results uh, mid-August. Depending on their success on their um, IGCC program, our students move on to year 11 and start the diploma program. In order for them uh, to successfully pass grade 10 and move up to grade 11, we look for uh, a minimum of C in their IGCC certificates. Our students can take high level courses in the diploma program if they have two B's and one A on their IGCC certificates. If not, we ask them to transfer to another school. Hello, my name is Selin Seti. I am the IB Diploma Program Coordinator and High School Vice Principal at Bilkent Erzurum Laboratory School. In our school, we have been successfully implementing IB Diploma Program since 2010 with the mission of leading and inspiring innovative learning and success through challenging national and international programs. In our school context, all students in grades 11 and 12 
are required to participate in IB diploma program. These students must also complete their Turkish national examinations as well as the DP program. Currently, there are six different combinations that we offer our DP candidates. These combinations were designed in alignment with the career goals of our DP students who would like to study medicine, law, business, engineering or computer science at university. The DP courses we offer are English A Language and Literature, Literature in Performance, Turkish A Literature in Group 1, German B in Group 2, Turkey in the 20th Century and Economics in Group 3, Physics, Chemistry, Biology and Computer Science in Group 4, Mathematics, Analysis and Approaches in Group 5, Visual Arts in Group 6. With the motto of being an exemplary educational institution, not only in Turkey but also in the world, BELS has very high expectations from its students. I am proud to announce that our diploma pass rate has been 100% for the last six years. The school average grade awarded from the diploma examinations is 34. Therefore, the minimum expectations of BELS students is a total of 30 points in their six subjects. Going to BELS is a continuum and it starts in the prep grade for many students. The prep grade is an opportunity for students to learn intensive English before they move on to the IGCSE program in the 9th and 10th grade. In the 9th and 10th grade, as the IGCSE program focuses on an external exam, which is then used to help students, to help us determine how students will do in the DP in the 11th and 12th grade. Students must pass the IGCSE exams in order to move on to the DP exams. At the end of the DP exams at graduation, successful students will have not only a Turkish Ministry Diploma, but also a full DP Diploma, which will give them the ability to move on to Bill Kent University for full scholarship. We see our students in the high school as having the ability to be with us and stay with us and learn and grow in terms of the IB learner profile. And we want everyone to be successful. And many students who go on to uh, Bill Kent University also then for their further degrees after they graduate from Bill Kent, go on to, uh, to universities overseas in other countries in Europe or into the United States. So our school is a continuum that we, when we take a student in, we hope that their learning journey will be crafted in order to see them straight through from prep through graduation and graduation from Bill Kent University as well. Hello, I'm Jeren from Central Asia, Turkmenistan, and I have been working as an English language teacher in prep program at Bilkent Laboratory Schools. I arrived um, Bilkent Laboratory Schools in August, and since I arrived here, I've been astounded by how friendly and welcoming uh, people have been both at school and on campus. Um, besides being a teacher, I am a mother of a four-year-old child and um, one of the main concerns of mine before joining Bell's team was whether my child would be able to um, adapt to a new environment well or not. 
Um, but now I'm here, I can safely say that um, Birkent Laboratory School campus has been designed um, with one's well-being in mind and incorporating um, security features that allows um, children um, to have safe and positive environment. Um, outdoor spaces for children uh, include spacious playground where children can um, uh, swing and slide and play with each other freely. Um, the school is well resourced and we have three buildings on campus in total of 81 uh, furnished apartment and apartments and um, you can find a common area with fireplace with uh, teachers where we socialize here sometimes throw parties have fun together as staff and children um, moreover um, the you can find an apartment um, all basic furniture such as um, refrigerator um, dishwasher, cooker and bedroom and living room is well equipped as well. I personally love spending time in my apartment. Um, what else? Um, we have access to school building 24-7 and um, the uh, facilities that include at Bell's campus or fitness center to keep your body and your mind healthy. You can find a space for recycling, exercise and running at the same time. Um, the peaceful environment at campus is accented with um, nature and wildlife. You can find yourself while walking in campus uh, hearing bark of foxes at the same time. Uh, you can hear the song of migrating birds and you can see uh, ground squirrels. I personally found peace here and I'm really happy being a member of Bell's family. Thank you. Turkey is an amazing country to live in. There's so much to see and explore, there's really something for everyone. Erzurum is a city in the northeast surrounded by mountains. It is much smaller than Istanbul and has a local feel. The people are friendly and it's very easy to get around. In fact, the school offers a shuttle every day and twice on Saturdays, so getting to the city center is very convenient. There's loads of coffee shops, several museums and historical sites within the city, which are very interesting to check out. It's easy to plan day trips to nearby waterfalls in Tordum, as well as Kars and the ancient city of Ani, which are just a few hours away by car. We're also not far from the Kachkar Mountains for, for our hiking and recreation trips. Of course, there are daily flights to Istanbul and Ankara as well for a weekend away. Within Erzurum, in the winter season, skiing and snowboarding are very popular activities. There are several pulp gyms and Pilates studios, shopping malls and movie theaters. Everywhere is accessible by bicycle as well when the weather is nice.